What's up guys? How are you doing? New Kino here as always. Guys, today's video is in a little bit different format as you can see. Um, I want to capture moment, thoughts, uh, I want to document basically. I'm talking about online classes and the COVID, whole COVID situation. I want to have a record. I want to have a record of this, this time. And I want to record and tell you what impact that had on me. Yes, so if you follow my work, uh, you probably know that I haven't mentioned about online classes. I do online classes. Uh, the reason you'll find out in a moment, but before I wanted to actually show you what it takes to, to prepare for those classes, because this is quite funny. And this is of course to have a record for me, as I said, I want to have a record of that so I, in a few years time I can watch and I can have some emotional reaction maybe. But, uh, take a look. If there is one talent I know that I definitely have is to being organized, it is also a curse. I usually have an idea of what I will be teaching for the next few months. But then, each morning, I prepare material for that particular training. So far, there is no difference between normal classes and online classes, but things change when you have to set up a Zoom call. Not that it's difficult to do, but it needs to be done before each and every class. Email needs to be sent out. It just takes time. And then comes my least favorite part of the whole preparation. Redecoration of interior of my entire flat. This is annoying, I have to admit. So there you go, not as easy as I would think. Of course, the other guys who are training, they also move furniture, uh, so it's quite funny, but that's what it takes, we're gonna do this. Anyway, let's talk about the impact that the whole situation had on me. But guys, I would also love to hear from you, like what impact COVID had on your training, whatever, if you do capoeira or if you do any other type of training, let me know, because I'm very interested um, in the comments, please. The very first thing I wanted to talk about is appreciation. I've never been so grateful for capoeira in my life. And that's mainly because it kept me sane and it still keeps me sane uh, through this period. I work from home, I stay at home, sleep at home, I now train at home, meet people through Zoom at home. Uh, it's quite intense. There are also other reasons. I wouldn't think uh, it's gonna impact me so much because I'm a person who loves to stay at home. Anyway, capoeira and training kept me sane like crazy. I'm not sure if this is the same case for you, but kept me sane. And I know that the classes, online classes kept sane, the guys who train with me, because uh, we talk about this. Uh, quite a few times we talked about this and they, they admitted that it also it keeps them sane and fit, which brings me to another point. I don't think I've ever trained so hard like now. Usually when I teach, I'm really immersed in teaching. I'm always immersed in teaching, but when I teach in person, I'm training less and I focus more on people here because the nature of training is a bit different. I'm able to train more and it, I can really feel impact. I can really feel impact and the guys who, who, who train, uh, they also go really because we focus on certain things and we drill them and you can see the progress. So that, that's that been amazing. So, uh, so far, so good. Another thing that I believe uh, that happened was improving my teaching skills. Because of course my language, I would use words like this, that, uh, there, I do this, do that, uh, put it there, put that like there. I would use those words to explain things quite often and uh, now I need to be very specific because the person cannot stand next to me and see what's happening so 
I had to really, um, so let's say I, I actually had to study a little bit more and uh, be able to explain things that the way I've never explained before, uh, which is great. I believe I can uh, teach better. So that was another uh, positive impact of, of this whole situation. And the last thing guys, because there is many other things, but the, the last thing I can really feel is lack of, of capoeira hodas lack of interaction with people. We train so hard, we've been training so hard during those online classes and uh, it feels like, okay, I want to put that in practice, I want to play with people, see how it works, and you cannot, which is quite annoying. From all of those, I think is the last positive, but at the same time, it is kind of positive because we are looking forward to this. We're really looking forward to this and we can't wait and we're excited at the same time as we said we cannot do this right now. I like a children, give me a candy now. But once you get a candy, you're gonna enjoy it more probably, hopefully. So uh, yeah. So guys, very short video. I just wanted to share those thoughts. As I said, I wanted to document so I have it for myself as well, you know, and just to kind of remember this time, this weird time. Please let me know about your uh, about what impact yeah about the impact COVID and the whole situation had on you. If you let me know if you actually do some online classes, that's gonna be interesting to know as well. And that's it. Take care. Keep training uh, because it keeps you sane. Trust me. That's one of the biggest ones I said. It keeps you sane. Like if you move your body, if you don't even feel like moving, do it because it's gonna make make you feel much much better. Um, even though it's not my training day, I'm gonna train now because uh, it's gonna make me feel better. Plus, I did an experiment and that's gonna happen in a, a future episode um, about training more. And I hope this is gonna be a good video. Uh, the experiment was good, I just finished it and I feel great about it. Uh, so, look forward to that as well. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up, take care guys and I'll see you soon.